Today in the Daily Dose, diphtheria. During an outbreak of diphtheria, in 1735 colonial America, known as the Plague Among Children, wordmaster Noah Webster failed to catalog a name for the dreaded childhood disease. Known as throat distemper, diphtheria remained nameless until 1821, when French physician Pierre Bretonneau coined the name diphtherite based on the Greek name diphthera, which translates to leather or hide. Characterized by severe throat pain, fever and fatigue, difficulty breathing and swallowing, and in severe cases when its causal bacteria, Carinibacterium diphtheriae, enters a victim's bloodstream, nerve, kidney, and heart problems can result. A second and less frequent variety of diphtheria, known as cutaneous diphtheria, causes skin rashes, sores, and blisters anywhere on the human body. Throughout the 18th and 19th centuries, diphtheria was the leading cause of death in children the world over, challenging physicians as young patients, rich and poor alike, suffered and frequently died from the disease, including Queen Victoria's husband and daughter, Prince Albert and Princess Alice. Employing Koch's postulate in his study of the disease, in 1883, Prussian pathologist Edwin Klebs isolated a bacterium from the leathery throat tissues of a child suffering from the disease, while a year later, German bacteriologist Friedrich Lüffler isolated what became known as the Klebs Lüffler bacillus, later renamed Carinibacterium diphtheriae. While antitoxin and serum therapy became widely used by 1890, in 1901, 13 St. Louis children died from antiserum contamination prompting Ernst Letterly to produce an anti-serum of high-quality assurance in 1906, followed by William Park's vaccine breakthrough in 1914 that produced immunity first in animal studies and then in humans. After an outbreak of diphtheria struck 206,000 American children in 1921, causing 15,520 deaths, vaccine makers began producing a combined diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis vaccine, known as DTP, which then kicked off an American vaccination campaign in the 1930s. Today, diphtheria remains a disease of the past in much of the world, the CDC reporting just six cases in the United States in 2000, while in 2017, that same body reported 8,800 worldwide cases in unvaccinated or unboosted patients, making diphtheria one of the deadliest killers of man before the age of modern science. And there you have it, diphtheria. Today in the Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with the Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.